All right, we'll go ahead and get started with Coach Trailer with questions. JJ? Hey, Jeff, how are you doing today? Good, JJ. Is it is it hard to gauge what this North Texas team will do considering the layoff they've had? Uh, we're going to go mainly off that last game against Rice. They look very fresh, very athletic. Um, got some kids back they didn't have ever in the year. You can just tell they're, they're a really good ball club. And uh, quarterback is really fast. They can really throw it. Two great receivers that can really run. They're going to try to snap the ball about 85 to 90 times in a game. Very explosive. Um, it'll be as fast a tempo as we've seen this entire year. The best offense we've played since BYU. Uh, they'll, they'll give us all we can handle. Uh, defensively, they're extremely athletic. Um, you know, and Rice is a good squad, and they did a great job of just absolutely, you know, all them 17 points and winning a really good football game. Talk, talking about their offense, are they, that is that tempo going to put pressure on your secondary? On everybody, just getting lined up, getting the calls. And, um, you know, we've got that as a part of our offense. That is their offense. Like, their objective is to snap it as fast as possible. Um, very much like Baylor's offense, back when they were rolling. Um, it, that's the style you'll see. So, if you're familiar with watching those guys uh, back during that time, that's what you're going to see Saturday is that style of offense. Is their record a little deceiving? Are they a little bit better than what their record shows? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, with all that's going on with COVID, man, there's no way to really know what any team's like. I just know they're, the players I'm looking at right now were not out there early in the year, and the ones they got out there right now are really good. Greg? Jeff, you touched on this yesterday, but you guys have played well in the Alamo Dome this year. What has made it such a significant home field advantage for you guys? I think just the environment. Our band does a fantastic job. Uh, they understand uh, when to play and what to play, and they're, they're really good. And our crowd, even though it hadn't been just you know huge because the Alamo Dome is so big, you can still hear them in there so easily. And uh, the Pillow Killers, uh, you know, we can bring all of our guys to the game. You know, we can only bring 70 on the road. So we can, we'll, you know, we'll suit up 120 players uh, Saturday. So that's a significant difference just on our sideline of energy and juice and passion. And just, you know, it feeds our team. Our team feeds off of it. How do you see that that translates to the field? Are there specific areas where your guys tend to play better at home versus away? Um, I, I couldn't. Identify anything specifically. I had to, I'd have to go back and study that. And I haven't. I just feel like we have extra juice and extra mojo when we're in that building. I, I should have touched on this yesterday when we were running down the scheduling implications and some of the conference stuff. But do, if you had the choice at this point, do you still want to play Rice? Have you considered that again lately? Uh, you know me better than that, Greg. I'm on control of the controllables, and I don't worry about that. So every minute I worry about that kind of stuff, Greg, I'm wasting a minute of my life. I got you and JJ and Jonas that'll help me, and I got Dr. Compost working on that. I, I got a lot of people taking care of me in that department. I'm on. Do what I'm hired to do, which is try to have the very best day we could have today, and uh, we did have a great day. It was worth a shot. <laughs> hey, JJ. Jeff, I wanted to ask you about uh, the the kickoff. Did did Hunter hurt himself recently, or, or what what led to that change? And and oh, Everett's really been doing great. Everett's been having you know tremendous hang time, uh, length, and Hunter's just you know he's kicked a lot for us this year. He's got a tired leg, and that's just something we could take off of him to help him with his field goal and extra points. Just splitting that those duties up, just making Hunter better, making Everett better, and made our our night stalkers better as well. So that was a one, to help Hunter save his leg, and two, uh, Everett has earned it, and three, it makes our night stalkers better. It looked like Brendan got banged up in, in, in one, of, one of his runs, Brendan Brady. I, I, did he practice today, or what's his status? Yes, he practiced. He'll be fine, but you are correct. He did get banged up Saturday. And then just looking at the depth chart yesterday, it looks like you guys are pretty healthy. Is that 
kind of are you guys pretty good right now? Um, for this time of year, for sure. Um, you know, obviously, you got Lowell out with a season-ending injury. Um, trying to think of anybody else I, off the top of my head. You know, I, I really am terrible at that kind of stuff because I just – whatever guys I got out there is the one I'm coaching. And, uh, you know, it's a big day tomorrow because we're testing again. And uh, this, we can just get through these two tests. Uh, I'd like the little 23 seniors to get sent out correctly and for us to play really well at home Saturday. I really would like that for those 23 seniors. Hey, Greg? Yeah, along those same lines, it doesn't seem like just based on the depth chart and based on the timing of everything that there would be a lot of guys in the COVID protocol anymore. Are you doing all right on that front as we stand right now? Yes, sir. As good as we've been the entire year. Okay, anything else for Coach? All right, thanks. We'll get some players in here in a few. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff.